Hi everyone, I'm Renee Oswald, author of Transitioning to Living Cuisine, and today we're going to be making an energy soup from my book on page 24 if you want to follow along with me. We start off with two cups, one to two cups of water. I'll put one cup in here. You can always add more as you go along to make it the consistency that you like, whatever's best for you. And I'm going to use romaine lettuce, about three leaves of romaine lettuce, and just break those up. Put those right in the blender. This is a nice high-speed blender, the Vitamix. And this makes the most delicious soups. As you progress, you may want to use more greens, but start off with two or three leaves to start with. Okay, I'm going to whip this up real fast. After that's well blended, you add the rest of your ingredients, which is one cucumber, just cut it up into about one and a half inch pieces, put that in there, and two large tomatoes, same thing, cut in one and a half inch, blend that in. And we're going to add a, an avocado. This is a large avocado, so I'm going to use about half of this. Just cut it in half. Comes right off. This avocado isn't the prettiest, so I'm going to use about half this avocado. The good part. And cut off the other half. And I'm going to use chickpea miso in this recipe, but if you don't have that, you can use sea salt. This is the chickpea miso. It's made from garbanzo beans. It's a fermented product. It's really great. It gives it a salty flavor. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of lemon juice in there and three sun-dried tomato halves that I've soaked in water for about 15 minutes to soften them and a little bit of cumin and cayenne, just a small amount of cayenne and chili powder and that's what gives it the taco flavor. And also one stalk of celery and this is ni a nice stalk, that's how you know it's nice and fresh, it still has the nice green leaves on it. Go ahead and put those leaves in there also. And that's it. Now for the addition, I'm going to, a little extra, I'm going to put corn in this, on top of the soup. I'm not going to put the corn in the blender because I want something to munch on in the soup. Some people like to eat cream soups by themselves. I'd rather have something to munch on in my soup. You can always make some dehydrated croutons. Those are great. Or you can chop up any of your vegetables and put them in the soup also. Sometimes it's easier to cut corn with a serrated knife. Just cut the corn off the stalk, off the cob. There we go. And you can put that in your soup when you're done. And we mix this together. And you can run your Vitamix for about two minutes and it warms up the soup. But if you run it for too long, it'll actually boil the soup. So you really don't want to run it that long because you'll destroy the, all the good nutrients in the soup. So just for about two minutes. There you go. And it's done. You're ready to eat. This is your taco soup. And just sprinkle corn on top. And there you go. Wish you could try it.